Justice Department of the Army, 11 June 1970. The following individual is authorized and is directed to wear the uniform and insignia of a Brigadier General. We never thought that a woman would become a general officer. And Anna Mae Hayes probably never imagined she would become that woman when she was just a young nurse earning her stripes in Allentown. Loved it. <laughs> it was always my hometown. Even though she seemed to have a knack for nursing. My mother said when I was young, I was always banishing the arms of chairs and the legs of chairs. Her career almost took a much different path. I was a pianist, and, and uh, so I thought I might go to Juilliard School of Music. Hayes graduated from Allentown High School, now William Allen, in 1938 and entered the Allentown Hospital School of Nursing. She joined the Army Nurse Corps after the U.S. entered World War II. We thought we were going to go with the soldiers over to Europe, but we didn't, and we ended up going all the way over to China, Burma, India. Hayes spent two and a half years taking care of wounded soldiers at a hospital in the jungles of Lido. She returned to the States after the war and was stationed at Fort Dix in New New Jersey, but her homecoming was short-lived. Korea broke out in 1950, and um, we were sent there. It was during her next stint at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington that she was tapped to take care of President Eisenhower following his ileitis attack. I was very, very fortunate and honored to be able to take care of him. He was one of my greatest patients. All the while, Hayes was rising in the ranks of the U.S. military, culminating in her promotion to general in 1970. At that time, Hayes was head of the Army Nurse Corps. She retired a year later, a history maker who has never forgotten her hometown. Just a lot of good memories. And with an induction into Lehigh County's Hall of Fame and a portrait hanging in the government center, it's safe to say her hometown will never forget her.